Hello, my beautiful darling loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. Um, I do have a Cancer, Leo, and Virgo only channel. The links to those are below. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it. Do whatever way fits you and your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post. And when the winners are announced, I'll be giving away two four-question text readings on the first of every month. Um, please post a positive affirmation or something that you're grateful for below with a green heart to enter to win, okay? Um... Re did I say readings can be vice versa? Readings can be vice versa. I don't know if I said that or not. All right, my loves, let's get popping. For those of you who missed out on Royal Rose, uh, excuse me, Raven's Rose Oracle, it was out of stock for a while. It's back on my website. The link is below. Um, I'm open for text readings and pre-recorded video readings right now. And I've got mystery crystal boxes on sale for $22.22. It's a decent sized box, guys. You get quite a few crystals. Okay, let's get popping, my loves, and let's see what we have here for the collective. Please, Spirit, tell me. Okay, so we've got ghosted and we have time. Okay. Tell me about the collective, please. We've got observant. And we've got divine feminine. We've got sensitive and we've got transform. Okay, so collective, this is, let me make it clear to you right now. This is going to be, this reading is about the last person on your mind. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this reading is literally about someone that you don't even think about anymore. Okay. I think that collective, this is someone that blocked you, ghosted you, left you for dead a long time ago, a long time ago. This person knew that they had a window of opportunity to fix things with you and they missed it and they missed it. They may have tried to come back around and they, they missed it. You may have been with someone else um, when they tried to come back around or collective, this person may have made an attempt to see if the grass was green or somewhere else and they took too long, but collective, this is not going to be, I don't want to see anything in the comments of, oh yeah, no, he left me last week. Nope. This is not going to be that person. This is somebody and the, you know how I know that it was a long time ago collective. Because with observant and divine feminine, this is someone that has watched you grow into a woman or a man. This is someone that has watched you grow into a woman or a man. Oh my gosh. Um, you know what song just popped into my head? Uh, oh gosh. What's that song with, uh, what is it? Nell, uh, Nelly and somebody? I remember back in the day when you were mine. Oh gosh. What is the song? S Still My Boo or something like that? I think it's called My Boo. Yeah, I think it's called my my boo with uh, excuse me no Usher and Alicia Keys, my boo. Let's see if I the lyrics are here full lyrics. Um, there's always that one person that will always have your heart. You never see it coming because you're blinded from the start. Know that you're that one for me. It's clear for everyone to see. Oh baby. You will always be my moo, my boo. See, I don't know about y'all, but I know about us. And it's the only way we know how to rock. 
Do you remember, girl, I was the one who gave you your first kiss? Ladies and gents, this may be your, literally your first kiss, okay? <laughs> this could be, um, yeah, I was the one who said, put your lips like this. Even before all the fame and people screaming your name, girl, I was there when you were my baby. It started when you were younger, you were mine. This is, this is young, okay? This is young. This is, um, you may have been with this person when you were young and you know, maybe you know how it is when you're young, they, they just didn't, uh, they needed to explore. You needed to explore. I mean, that's just the way it is. Okay. It's just the way it is. Um, and you know, they may have walked away from you collective because you know, they, they needed to explore. They were too young, but this is someone that has watched you grow into a woman or a man, whatever. Okay. This is someone, and they get in their feelings about it with sensitive here. It may look like I don't care, but don't judge a book by its cover. It's, I, I feel things deeply. We've got transform here, maturity, growth, and change. This is someone that has watched you throughout the years grow into a beautiful woman, a beautiful man, and they're still in love with you. They're still in love with you. Collective, this could be your first kiss. It could be the first, the person that you literally lost your virginity to. This person has never forgotten you. I don't know if you even ever think of this person anymore. Collective, okay? I mean, this is, this was a long time ago. All right, spirit, tell me, tell me. Uh, with Divine Feminine here, Collective, this could be someone that you got pregnant with as a teenager and it didn't work out, you know, and maybe they see you all, <clears throat> maybe they see you all the time because they come pick up their child and everything. This is someone, this was your, like your first love, you know, tell me about the Collective here, please, Spirit, tell me about the Collective. We've got the Ten of Wands. We've got the Queen of Cups. Some of you could be Cancers, Scorpios, or Pisces. But I feel more so collective that this is someone that has, they carry you around like like, like, a, like a backpack. Their love for you, it, it gets heavy sometimes. It gets heavy. The memory of you gets heavy. And look, Empress Energy here again. Collective, the Empress is usually pregnant, okay? So you may have, and, and the Empress is older. So this could be that maybe, you know, this person thinks back of when you were pregnant with their child, if you guys had a child when you were in your teen years or when you were young. Or collective, this could be that they're finding out that you're pregnant now and they're, they're looking at you. I mean, this is someone that's just in awe of, how beautiful the how beautiful you've grown into yourself how beautifully you've grown into yourself okay and the ten of wands and the ten of swords is here collective you know all they think about is the ending all they think about is what they've lost and you may be shocked you may be shocked because collective this could be someone from 20 years ago this could be, this is not the person that you broke up with yesterday. I cannot make this clear enough. We've got the hanged man here. It took this person a long time to realize what they've lost. Pisces energy, Aries, Taurus energy, Libra energy. This person has had a lot to say to you. Over the course of the years, it has built, it has built. And it has built. Collective, this person may come forward and want to talk to you. Am I saying that they're going to throw themselves at your doorstep and, you know, want to get back together immediately? No. But this person may want to meet up and have a cup of coffee. Catch up with you. They're intrigued by you. They're in awe of you. This is someone that, you know, they've loved you for a long time. They loved you. They have loved you for a long time. My stomach 
feels knotted. I, like I almost got a little like in my throat that I wanted to throw up. Like when this person thinks of you, their insides like twist and turn. When they, when they see you, and this has been going on for them, I want you to understand, this has been going on for this person for 10, 20, for some of you, 30 years. For some of you, 30 years, okay? Tell me about the collective. Did I say this person could be a Pisces? We have the lover's card, Gemini energy. And the High Priestess, Pisces Energy. Collective, this is someone that when you guys were younger, when you guys were younger, they gave in to temptation. They gave in to temptation. The Lover's Card is a strong soul tie. The High Priestess, many of you may not know this in Tarot, but the High Priestess is known to be a nun, right? And sometimes it could represent, um, I know this is a little gender specific, but it could represent a woman that is forbidden to a man. So it, it's like, you know, you guys were in a relationship, strong soul tie connection, and this person, it was like the idea or the concept of, I want this, but I can't have it, have it made it more tempting because they wanted it and they couldn't have it. And they were young. They were too young to face this type of temptation and not take a bite out of that apple, right? With the Four of Cups here, Collective, I feel like they're realizing what a gift you were. And you see this, this kid right here is not looking at the cup. He, he's looking at these options over here. He's looking at these options over here. And now, you know, now they're wishing that they would have never made those decisions. You know, you know, when you look back and you regret, you know, they left you out in the cold here. Okay. They ghosted you and left you behind like you were garbage to go give to something else. Because you see that temptation, the, the, there is someone here from your past that just could not get a third party out of their head. They couldn't get this third party out of their head. All they wanted to do was walk away from you to go take a bite of that forbidden apple, okay? And they've been suffering for it ever since. They hurt you deeply and they know that. They hurt you deeply and they know that. With the four of pentacles here, this person wishes their biggest, if, if they could go back and change one thing about their life, it would be you. Seven of swords. Yeah, this is someone who lied. They cheated. They were deceptive and they've been regretting it for many of you decades now decades and they've never taken their eyes off of you this is someone that has kept tabs on you yeah five of wands and the seven of swords here collective this is someone that was too busy looking at the competition uh looking at other people and you know what collective i think they were just too young they were too young to say no but i'm older now I'm older now. I just heard the song, Try Losing One. I don't remember who hears it. Yeah, look, the regret. Now that they're older and they look back. Aries Taurus energy. Now that they're older and they look back. They regret it so much. They have so much regret. Let me go ahead and read you the lyrics to that song, Try Losing One. Hold on. That song from Usher is just so loud in my head. For uh, uh, Usher and Alicia Keys, it's so loud in my head. 
And look, uh, and I still have the lyrics up to this Alicia Keys song and Usher song. And it says, it started when we were younger, you were mine. Now another brother's taken over, but it's still your eyes. So I think that by the time collective, uh, this individual realized what they lost, you were already gone and in another relationship. I know we haven't seen each other in a while, but you will always be my boo. I was in love with you when we were younger. You were mine. Let me pull up the lyrics to that. Um, So it says here, try losing one. Try walking through the door of an empty house. Try staring at a wall, pouring whiskey out. Try living with knowing that you let her down. Try, uh, try trying like hell not to think about that hurt in her eyes as she turned around. If you think finding a girl you can't live without is the hardest thing you've ever done, try losing one. It's hard to come home early, them last call home come so late, pride is hard to swallow and sorry is hard to say, and taking her for granted is an easy thing to do, and if you want to see the kind of hell a girl can put you through, try losing one. Try missing her every night, holding on, barely getting by a love like they, it might be like, like them, it might be hard to find. Try losing one. Yeah. Uh, who sings that song? I don't even know. Uh, but it's it's called Try Losing One. So yeah, uh, Collective, this is somebody, look, Nine of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. This person drowns in the sorrow of the memory of you. They dream of you. They have nightmares of you. This person is drowning in the sorrow of you. And I feel like collective, this is someone that's finally going to make that decision to reach out. This person finally feels the need to come forward. It has been a long time since you've spoken to this person. It has been a long time collective, a long time. And like I said, I mean, this person, I don't think that they have high expectations that you guys will end up together, but this person, they just feel the need to know you. I mean, they just see you, you've grown into something so amazing, okay? With the Six of Wands here, the Six of Swords and the Four of Wands collective, don't get me wrong, this person wants to win you back. If you guys live at a distance, they're willing to move. This person wants to see if they can, they can, you know, make it work with you. Seven of wands and the three of swords. Okay. If this person has anyone else in the picture, they will toss whoever they are talking to or with literally in the guard, like literally, whoop, they will toss that person right out. If there's any indication that there could be a new beginning between you. If you have any love left for this person, or if you're willing to give it a chance now that you guys are older, this person will toss everything and anything to the side. Yeah, judgment card. If there's any opportunity for a second chance, this person would take it in a heartbeat. Look at you. They they see you sitting in pre empress energy. This person is just in awe of you. They can't stop looking at you. Virgo energy, Leo energy. Yeah, look, the wheel of fortune. The Hierophant, Taurus Energy, and the World card with the Tower and the Ace of Pentacles, Aries Scorpio Energy. Collective, this is something that you never saw coming. This is something that you never, ever, ever in a million years would have expected to happen. Ever. Seriously, expect the unexpected because this is going to blow your mind. This is going to blow your mind. This was a strong soul tie connection you had a soul contract with this person from when you were young from when you were young but you guys weren't ready for it you were not ready for it and spirit is bringing it back together okay spirit is bringing it back together and and you are not 
seriously expect the unexpected because this is going to literally hit you out of left field. You, you're not going to see this coming at all. Man, that song keeps playing in my head and it's twisting my stomach. This person is all twisted up on the inside over you. And it's been like that for years. I almost, I got to say, I almost feel bad for this person because that's got to be a very tormented way to live. I mean, for decades. Oh, look at this. I was going to do all 12 signs for you guys. The three of swords came out in the reverse. This is someone that wants to heal your heart or heal something or fix something. Tell me about the collective and all 12 signs. The collective and all 12 signs, please, spirit. Okay, if we're dealing with an Aries, we've got the eight of wands and the four of swords. Expect communication. Expect communication if you're dealing with an Aries. This is someone that may have been sitting on what they have to say for quite some time, but they're going to come forward. If we're dealing with a Taurus, the King of Cups and the Six of Cups, this is an ex that still has love for you, okay? If we're dealing with a Gemini, the Two of Swords and the Three of Wands, you and this Gemini are not talking, but they're yearning. They're missing you. And look, the in, this, in every deck, the Three of Wands is different, okay? This particular man is willing to turn their back on what they have going on here to move towards you. This is someone that's not talking to you, but they're missing you. If we're dealing with a cancer, the queen of wands and the two of wands, um, this is someone that chose a third party over you. And with the sun card, you're going to find out about it. If we're dealing with a Leo, we have the six of pentacles and we've got temperance. This is someone that's willing to balance out the connection to have peace with you. If we're dealing with a Virgo, the five of wands and the page of wands, this is someone that's flirting with multiple people or they have too many options and it's causing them to be confused. If we're dealing with a Libra, the queen of pentacles and the ace of pentacles, this person wants high levels of commitment, okay? Expect a marriage proposal, having a baby, buying a house, high levels of commitment. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, the three of pentacles and the world card, I think that you guys are going to either get therapy or mediate your connection, work something out so it comes back together better. Or this could just be an indication of having that final conversation where you have closure and end things on a positive note. If we're dealing with a Sagittarius, the hanged man and the five of pentacles, someone here could be waiting around for the other person to come back. After a, a period of waiting, someone's going to wake up to the fact that the other person's not coming back. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, the lover's card and the magician, this is some, there's a third party situation here. This is someone that could be manipulating you, um, telling you that they're single when they're not. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, we've got the page of swords and the ten of swords. I think a final conversation is going to take place that this is over. If we're dealing with a Pisces, or that something is over with you and the Aquarius. If we're dealing with a Pisces, the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles, this is someone that's all about their money. Work comes first with this Pisces and everything else comes after. Okay? All right, guys, that's what I got for you. I love you so much and I will see you soon. Take care, my darlings.